always a rainbow within reach on animal song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C, Next time, won't you sing with me? Now this time, let's sing together. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now I know my A, B, C, Next time, won't you sing with me? That was lovely. Hello, friend. It's so good to see you again. There are so many things to do today. Where should we begin? Oh, Mr. Goose, Mr. Goose, we should start with a letter of the day. That's a great idea, Fox. Let's check the letter board. Today's letter is D. D makes the sound D in dog. Fox, repeat after me. D, D, dog. D, D, dog. Now you try. D, D, dog. Well done! I have an idea! Let's have a treasure hunt and find things that begin with D! That's a great idea, Fox! While Fox does that, here are more things that begin with D! Down! D! D! Down! <laughs> Door! Door. <laughs> dish. D. D. Dish. <laughs> doll. D. D. Doll. <laughs> Drum. D. D. Drum. Dog. D. D. Dog. What letter do all these words start with? D. That's right. The letter D. Yeah. 
Yes. <laughs> Mr. Goose, can we trace a letter? Absolutely. Let's practice making the letter D. Who can think of a fun way to do it? Ooh, ooh, I know. Let's trace letters on the dirt using the watering can. Well, that sounds like a great idea. Pig, why don't you go first? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. D. Great. I'll try next. <laughs> Terrific tracing! Now, let's trace the lowercase letter. I want to try! <laughs> D! Ooh. Nice job! Let's look at the letters we made. What's this letter? D! Exactly! Uppercase D. And what's this letter? D! That's right! Lowercase D. Nice job! Wow! Wow! Cool! Nice work, everybody! Thank you, Mr. Goose. D. Hi, it's me, Pig. Let's do a letter dance. Say D. D. All right, say it again. D. Groovy. Let's dance. Letter D. together. Bye. Letter D. Letter D. What's that letter? letter? It's story time. Yay! Gather round, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Don't Wake the Baby. In this story, a brother and sister try to be very quiet so they don't wake the baby. Let's see if they are successful. Let's begin. Don't Wake the Baby Written and illustrated by Win T. Kim Lien Translated by Alicia Berger Ever since Mom came back with the baby, Eve and John have not been happy. They are not allowed to make noise when the baby is sleeping. But the baby is always sleeping. They are not allowed to run in the house. They are not allowed to chat at snack time. 
They are not allowed to scream, no matter what. But the toughest rule is this one. When the baby is asleep, Eve and John must whisper. If they want to laugh, they can only giggle softly. But one day, the story they are reading is so funny that they can't help laughing. Oh, no! The baby is sleeping! The baby wakes up crying. Mom is angry. She yells at them to go play outside. Eve is sad. She doesn't like being yelled at. John comforts her. He says that it will be more fun to play outside. They can be as loud as they want. After playing soccer for a while, Eve and John are happy again. John kicks the ball. Goal! The ball flies across the garden. Bang! Oh, no. The baby is awake. What will happen now? The baby cries. The baby is so loud that his crying breaks the milk bottle. It cracks the pot. It cracks the window. The baby is so loud that his crying lifts the roof off. Their brother won't stop crying. Eve and John rush inside. Eve holds the baby and sings, but the baby keeps crying. John dances. He does tricks, but the baby keeps crying. What makes a baby stop crying? Oh, soon Eve and John are crying, too. Mom picks up the baby. She comforts him. She sings a lullaby. The baby stops crying. Now Eve and John understand. It's impossible for babies to be quiet, so it's better to just not make noise. Shh. The end. Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids. Hello, Mr. Frog. Let's sing a counting song about potatoes. Potatoes? Yes, potatoes. It goes like this. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Are you ready to count potatoes with me? Yeah! Let's go! Here we go! One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Again. One potato, two potatoes, three potatoes, four. Five potatoes, six potatoes, seven potatoes more. Ooh, that was fun. That was wonderful. Thank you for singing with me. Thank you, Mr. Frog. Goodbye. Here's something we already did. Let's do it again. Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. 
Dip it in the yellow paint. <laughs> and start painting. Oh, 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 look. My paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... <gasps> we clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. <laughs> Hi, Fox. What are you doing? I'm making patterns. Look, I'm making a design with wiggle bugs and birds. Wiggle bug, bird. Wiggle bug, bird. Wiggle bug, bird. Wiggle bug. What comes next? Uh, I'm not sure. A bird. Let's say the names of each thing together. Wiggle bug bird. Wiggle bug bird. Wiggle bug bird. Wiggle bug bird. Oh, I see the pattern. I hear it too. Wiggle bug bird. Oh, can I help you make another pattern? Sure. Let's make another pattern with these same things. Bird, bird, wiggle bug. Bird, bird, wiggle bug. Bird, bird. What comes next? Wiggle bug. <laughs> you got it! Let's say it together! Bird, bird, wiggle bug! Bird, bird, wiggle bug! Bird, bird, wiggle bug! What's the pattern? Bird, bird, wiggle bug! <laughs> That's it! Oh, can I make a pattern? Sure. Wiggle bug, wiggle bug, bird. Wiggle bug, wiggle bug, bird. Wiggle bug, wiggle bug. Do you know what comes next? A bird. That's it. All together. Wiggle bug, wiggle bug, bird. Wiggle bug, wiggle bug, bird. Wiggle bug, wiggle bug, bird. Can I borrow your glue stick, please? I want to glue these down. Sure. Here you go. Thank you. Wiggle bug, wiggle bug, bird. Wiggle bug, wiggle bug, bird. Wiggle bug, wiggle bug, bird. All done! Do you want to make another pattern? No, I want to go and tell Miss Panda! Miss Panda! Miss Panda! I made a pattern! <laughs> Bye, Hedgehog! See you later! Bye, friends! See you later, too! 
It's time to move. Follow me. It's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. goodbye. <laughs> Time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily. Merrily, life is but a dream. Life is but a dream.